the history how the Damodar, the month of Kartika, it became uh, dear to the Lord. The Vishnu is uh, also mentioned in the Puranas that uh, during the time of uh, earlier period in this uh, universe, before the Ganges came down into the world, into this world, into from the heavenly planets or orbit to the from you know, the heavenly planets. Uh, at that time, there was a demon born uh, of the uh, ocean called Shankarsura. And that demon did tapasya and got the blessings from uh, Brahma, making him uh, invulnerable to the control of the devas. But then he wanted to kill the devas, but the devas hid him in Mount Meru. And he was looking everywhere for the devas and couldn't find him. So then he decided that he will steal the Vedas. And if he steals the Vedas, then uh, his uh, strategy was that will automatically cause the devas to be as good as dead. Because without the Vedic knowledge that they're useless, they'll die off. So he went to Satyaloka to get the personified Vedas, but when they saw him coming, they ran and they went into the ocean and dissolved themselves. So they could and he went into the ocean looking for them, but they had dispersed themselves in the ocean water. So they, he couldn't find them. While Shankashur was looking for the Vedas, Lord Brahma and the Devas uh, they came uh, out from the hiding and went to the side of the uh, Melt Ocean and began to chant and dance because the Lord was asleep. This is the time when Lord Vishnu was asleep. So they didn't want to wake him up rudely. Maybe he'd be angry with them. So they thought the best way to wake him up is that we all sing and dance and chant his holy name. So they began to chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Vishnu woke up and saw all the devas singing and dancing, chanting Hare Krishna, he became very happy. So this is the happiest day of my life. And that time was in the month of Kartika or Damodar, and it was also the day of Ekadasi. So from that time, Ekadasi became his favorite day and Kartika became his uh, dear month. So anyone who sings and chants in front of the deities, offers me lands, performs uh, the, uh, the Brajas, and this month, chants my holy names, they become very close to me. Even by seeing them, people get free from uh, sins. Uh, just seeing such people who observe this Braja, what to speak of those who observe it. So, so, whatever you have in your mind, you also be fulfilled. We gave, uh, orders to the different devas that all kinds of uh, karma kanda results be given to anyone who observed this uh, bhakta as well and uh, that they come to him in the end. So then the Lord, uh, he, they wanted that the Sankarasura be taken care of, so Kasyapa Muni was told to hold some water in his hand. A little teeny fish appeared in the hand and the fish got bigger and bigger, it was too big for it to fit in his hand, he put it in a well. It got too big for the well, they put it in the pond, it got too big for the pond, finally put it in the ocean. And it became a gigantic matsya. And then uh, the Sankarsur saw the matsya and they had a big fight and Shankarsur was liberated. And then matsya avatar gave the different Vedas extracted from the water, gave to Lord Brahma who in turn handed over to different rishis. And those rishis then became famous as being responsible for the different branches of the Vedic knowledge. And then Brahma went to Prayag to perform some big sacrifice for the purification of the universe, and that's all that is. So, month of Dhammadar is very dear to the Lord. But a special quality is it's the month where we come closer to Krishna.
which is why it's so important for the Krishna devotees. Because every Krishna devotee wants to get close to Krishna, dear to Krishna. So Krishna is pleased by observing this uh, Vrata, and the devotees do it to please Krishna. 